Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this puff stitch here. It is a very thick pattern and it needs a lot of yarn so I wouldn't recommend it for bigger projects but for small projects it's a really nice stitch. So as usual we start with our slip knot and then we chain in an even number. We make the first stitch of our first row in chain number 5, counted from the hook, this one here. Or in other words, we skip 4 stitches and then we start with a double crochet in this stitch here. The first 4 chains that we skipped will be seen as double crochet plus one chain. Now we will make our first puff stitch and we use this chain here right next to the double crochet that we make made. And for this puff we will yarn over and pull through four times. So I yarned over, poke through the chain, pull up on the same height as your double crochet, yarn over again, poke in again, pull through, Pull up to the same height and in total you repeat that four times. You can of course adjust how many yarn over you would like to make. Um, for my yarn that I'm using here I thought four times is the best choice. So now you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. You yarn over, pull through all of them and then chain one. This is a puff stitch. Now you skip the next chain, then you make a double crochet in the following chain, like this. And then you again make a puff stitch in the chain that you just skipped. And again we yarn over and pull through four times. And in this way you just go on until the end of the row. Now this is how it should look like at the end of the row and we end the row with a double crochet in the last chain. Then we chain 3 for the turn. Two, 
turn around. And now we start in the second chain area here and make a double crochet there. Like this. Our first puff stitch will now be done in this chain area here. And again you yarn over and pull through four times. Then you close the puff stitch with a chain and go on with a double crochet in this chain area here. And the next puff stitch will be done in the chain area between the last two puff stitches of the previous row and so on. Let's have a look at the end of the row again. I just finished the last puff and now we will make a last double crochet in this chain area here. Afterwards we chain 3 again to turn around and go on with our known puff stitch pattern. And that's it. This is how you can make puff stitches. I hope you liked the tutorial. If yes, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.